Hey there guys, William here with another episode of Life is Strange. I've already recorded two today, and then this was the last one I'm planning on recording today, and then it's Morgan Dead. And then a little special thing for you, hopefully if I have time, later today. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for watching the last video. If you haven't watched the last videos yet, it's a series. So to get the story so far, you gotta sort of watch the old ones, unless you don't really care, then to watch this one, I don't I don't really care. Any, every view counts for me, every subscriber counts for me, every like counts for me, especially considering how small my channel is. Anyway, in the last episode, we we successfully finished breaking into Blackwell, going through Principal's office, and then we decided to go swimming in the pool, escaped the security guards that were tracking us down, escaped the school, went back to Chloe's house and crashed there because Max couldn't go back to the dorms. Uh, Max kissed Chloe, which was awesome, by the way. Anyway, and, um, yeah. So that was about it. And I went downstairs, sat on the swing, and ended it there. So anyway, let's continue the game! Well, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for all the notifications. <laughs> That's nice. I believe it's time to go inside though. Ooh, what's that? Three dead birds lined up? Aww. That's fucking ominous. Birdies, no! Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Mm -hmm. Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved Hey, my name's William. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Okay. Eggs and milk? No problem. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Where's the milk? Where's, where's the milk? Where's the milk? Why would you leave milk on the table? It's gonna get warm. Now for the soil. mother's milk. Inspired and shit. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. <clears throat> she hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large enough. <clears throat> I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Yeah. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. <laughs> Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? <laughs> no way. What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. <laughs> and that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not Hey, what a coincidence. Choice. I can go back in Voila, time and you can't. a breakfast for us queens. <laughs> and a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh, man. I don't want to be fake. You I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Good. You can clean. Hey. Now that's what I call pancakes. Let's eat that. Yeah. Now that's what I call pancakes. Can go back in time to when the pancakes were new. Go back in time when I'm No? Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. God damn it! Now that's what I call pancakes. Oh. Damn it. Now that's what I call pancakes. Am I just supposed to sit here? Am I'm glad it's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Can I get out of the chair, please? Did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? Let me out. Get me out of the chair. See? <clears throat> it made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early <laughs> to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll Obviously. know you're talking about me. Stop being so nervous, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta... I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Let's see if we can find some Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Let's just take a picture of that, then. Oh, fuck, wrong camera. Hmm. 
Come on. Yes. <laughs> Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's <gasps> cute. Could be a password here. Let's check this, bitch. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. This bitch. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. David has been dragging this head around since 2001. That might be a password. I could try the license number for the password. Try all these numbers then. <clears throat> huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Try that then. I'm just going around collecting all the fucking numbers. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Naturally, David would buy a heck and even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Okay. <laughs> Nothing in it. Okay, I think I've got everything. But maybe. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Such wrong. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. It's not in the family category. Magic 8-Ball says no. No. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. What do you mean three incorrect attempts? I did it once. <laughs> nope. Mac. Okay, personal. Shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay. I tried all those. Or me, maybe? Worst hacker. <clears throat> Back. Army. Such wrong. No way, Max. God you damn totally it. You totally froze the laptop. I will get into this.
<sighs> Try again. What is the password? It must be one more family thing that I haven't seen yet. Would you be mad if I Googled it? I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> Wait, no, I can't because I have to find it. Back, I totally did not Google where to find the password. I'm just gonna go check the sun visor. Joyce might as well. Might, might be a useful password. <laughs> strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Yeah. Rock, I need to go back in there. I better tell Chloe about this. Whoa. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. <laughs> Let's browse this bad boy and get some answers. I did that already. Let's go! Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Ah, uh, no he's not. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. <sighs> Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I'm a side of Chloe, David's sort of a dick. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these uh. files at all? I find this very disturbing. 
I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you, just you make better this a go woman to thing. a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Really? <laughs> for once. Just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Bye. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Sorry, sore throat. Listen, hey. when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. <coughs> More than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Hey, I got it. Don't let my epic plan get <laughs> in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. <laughs> Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. <laughs> Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. <laughs> you have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks oh, beautiful shit, in like them it. and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Uh. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's key? Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Be- I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... Okay, you eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Oh no, how is it still then? I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. <gasps> and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell again. <gasps> Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but... He's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. Sorry. He was ranting about a stolen Perfect. gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. <laughs> Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. What a coincidence! I better finish my breakfast first. <gasps> Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky Wait, this so is, is he a public expelled place. or is he suspended? Think... Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. We'll ch chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Hey. <laughs> Rachel. Yep. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Ah. What the fuck now? David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. 
Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. Damn, I really pissed him off. I need to go back. Fuck! Didn't mean to do that. <coughs> what the fuck now? Can I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? <laughs> You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Holy shit, what do you want now? Your sugar daddy will <clears throat> always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Mm, holy shit. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Sure. Now fuck off, Dyke. <sighs> Holy shit. Rachel. I bet Frank hooked you in. Nice try. I doubt that. Like you would. <sighs> I have more information now. We'll chat later, Max. What the <laughs> fuck now? There she is. Thanks, Officer Barry. I'm glad you're a... <clears throat> yeah. I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, <clears throat> he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What the fuck? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. 
One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. <gasps> Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! <laughs> Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Hey, hey. Yes. <laughs> I got the keys! Woo. Max? Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. <laughs> I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up. But you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Okay. This video, I'm gonna go a little bit longer today because I want to get you safe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Parking lot, parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Hey, and the same place. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. Anyway, guys, I think I am going to leave this episode here. So make sure. To, to hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to hit the bell icon so you get all my awesome notifications, see all my awesomeness. Thank you very much. If you have a question, concern, idea, or just want to start a conversation with me, please leave it down in the comment section below. I, I don't get very many comments, so I will make sure to reply to you. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm glad you guys checked out the video. Make sure to check out other videos. Thank you guys, and keep making some views. Bye! Woo!